The traffic light diet. What is the traffic light diet? The traffic light diet was created by a PhD and nutritionist, Leonard Epstein. It's based on foods as well as ingredients, which are arranged into three categories, each of which have a definitive colour. The green foods are counted as the healthiest of The amber foods are equivalently high in nutrients and calories, and the red ones are the foods that should be consumed less often, if not avoided. How it works. The traffic light diet is really simple to follow and is easy to use as well as helping you to embark on a healthy diet. The traffic light diet consists of using the three colours of road signalling systems. The red stands for danger, amber stands for caution and green for go. However, many supermarkets have started to use these colours on their labels. Three colours act as markers for the food groups of that colour. Foods in the red category cause problems as they are the ones which contain a high amount of calories and only a tiny amount of nutrients. Yellow, these are the foods that are less healthy, they are rich in calories but they do have a higher amount of nutrients. An example of these could be pasta, poultry and potatoes. Green, these are the healthy foods. The foods that are both high in nutrients as well as low in calories and you can eat as much as you want. An example of fruits and yogurts. Each category has different foods in it. Red foods. Anything that is not included in the green or amber category will almost certainly be placed into this group. These foods are high in calories and they contain lesser nutrients than the other two groups. Amber foods. This group of foods will be rich in both nutrients and calories. The colour-coded charts on the back of foods should help you determine how much of food is still healthy, as well as adding benefits to your diet plan. The foods that are listed in this group are high-fibre cereals and breads, seeds, pasta, oily fish, lean meat, poultry, potatoes, low-fat cheese, nuts and rice. Green foods. This is the healthiest group and is highly recommended for losing weight as well as to improve your overall health. The foods that are in this group consist of fruits and vegetables, low-fat yogurt and milk, as well as seafood and white fish. How much weight can you lose? On this diet, if followed properly, you can lose up to at least one pound a week. And with consuming more healthy foods, you are giving yourself a much healthier lifestyle. Diet tips. Even though the red foods are to be avoided or consumed less, this diet does not mean that you should eliminate eating the red foods, but overall to consume less of these would be better for the health. The categories can then be divided into size, so it's easier to manage. The foods in the green group can be eaten as much as desired. However, the amber group foods are to be consumed moderately and should be balanced along with the red foods being consumed only occasionally. When on this diet, it's best to consume more meals per day, which preferably consist of more green foods on the plate, such as fruits, vegetables or fish. Then you can start to add small amounts of amber foods, such as cheese, yogurt or eggs. And finally, have less of the red food on your plate, such as whole milk and red meat. The traffic light diet will help you control your calorie intake as the meals need to be carefully planned. The point of the diet is to reduce the amount of calories that you take in, but still have the nutrients the food offers us. Also, perseverance is needed as well as motivation to help you get into a healthy eating routine. A good benefit of this diet is it has no cravings or even side effects, and as well as that, it will help you to change your lifestyle. However, with portions not being restricted, you will need to have self-control. It's also followed by many people, just because it's a simple plan to follow and to adjust to.